One of the sort of interesting feedback that we've had is that in the front of our books we list all the, the volunteers and, contrib and contributors who've been involved in the project and especially for example the, the books the grade 10 to 12 math and science which were based on the free high school science text. Those have over a hundred volunteers who've been involved in the project and they worked out that the average sort of qualification of people involved in those projects were um, busy studying towards a PhD within their subject level. And we've had a lot of feedback from um, teachers in South Africa that they found this extremely encouraging, that knowing that there were so many people involved in the collaborative authoring of this book, instead of, say for example, just a, a traditional publishing house textbook which is authored by maybe one or two people, and it can always then just have this person's viewpoint on the content. Whereas we have such a wide range of people from different backgrounds who are actually involved in the authoring and also, um, I mean, maj the majority of them were at least PhD level. And I think um, that's been extremely comforting to people and also shows them that it's, it is very high quality. And yeah, it's been interesting to see people's responses to that and the fact that they, um, they find that a real um, sort of um, strong point about the, the content and um, yeah also I think what's also been what we've tried to do with our content is not just make it an, an everyday normal textbook but to try and bring in the, the technology that kids and are dealing with every day so we interact with learners obviously on Facebook and um, but then our content we try and enrich it with rich media so the the actual print books have links to videos and simulations which relate to the content which then sit on our websites online and uh, I think that's been really great for for, for learners to to maybe just recap um, sort of con uh, concepts but also for teachers because I think often they want to include um, sort of technology in their classrooms but they, they don't know how or if they go and google a, a video on some physics concept they come up with a whole list and they just don't know where to start so there's just so much out there it can be quite overwhelming so what we as a team have done have actually been through and identified what we think are the best videos that support this the content that they have to study according to the curriculum so that already cuts out a lot of work that teachers would have to do if they were looking for their own um, rich media to, to play in classrooms. So I think yeah, a lot of teachers have, have really liked that, that side of things, that we have all these interesting links. And it's, it's not always just um, direct um, videos about a concept that you have to learn in class, but it can also be extension work or um, some sort of interesting article and research that's taking place. And trying to make the content come alive and seem relevant to kids outside of the classroom. Yeah.